But Senator McAfee lawyers are unable to win that that debate. But the question will be that at this point now, the party, has the party been able, or the Senator McAfee group, has they, have they been able to obtain a, a, an injunction or a seal of execution stopping the judgment of the appeal court? The process is on. But let me bring to your attention of some unacceptable position. I just saw somebody on television now, Dr. Cairo. Dr. Cairo parading himself as the deputy national chairman. This is a man that was in our zonal convention, who was the zonal chairman, who actually presided over the zonal convention in Portacourt. He lost the election. And by the provision of Chapter 7 of our Constitution, it states out the modality and the methodology in which principal officers of the party can be elected. Can somebody tell me the convention and that zonal state or local government that elected Dr. Cairo, who is parading himself today as the deputy national chairman. So you can clearly see that it is best of the same feathers that are flocking together in this situation. This is not what this party desire. And I state with all emphasis that the critical committee was appointed in line with the constitution. You will not give me time to interpret or explain to you what really happened. I was trying to tell you how the whole process started. It started from the next committee that appointed the convention organizing committee chaired by Wiki. The process have already started. When the process was on, this Senator McAfee, who was the then chairman tenure, was to expire. He participated on the 20th of May in the screening. He was screened to even run as a chairman. But when he realized that he cannot win the chairmanship. He went and single-handedly decided to say he is canceling the convention. A single man cannot cancel a convention. The convention was called by NEC, and it is only NEC that can cancel the convention. So we went ahead and carried out our convention. Convention is not about election. Let's get it very clear. Election is a very minute aspect of a convention. The convention has the power to dissolve even the party. It has the power to hire and fire. It has the power to on do a, and do. Really so, a if I may quickly butt in now, it, it looks so much that that's a history that a lot of people are familiar with. And thank God that you are able to uh, put that background there. But if you look at the meetings that are being held, there's a common denominator here, which is former President Goodluck Jonathan. It seems everybody is meeting with him. Uh, to what uh, uh, importance uh, is this personality in the scheme of things? Uh, does it look like there could be a headway in some of these meetings with former President Gulag Jonathan? Well, before I answer that, are you now in agreement with me that by the provisions of our constitution, that the Ketika Committee was appointed in line with the section six of section five sub e of the article that you have just read? Uh, because uh, it is important uh, we appreciate uh, why uh, people uh, are saying uh, that uh, the political committee is illegal. Uh, uh, there is nothing like that. You are the lawmaker. I may be a student of law, but I don't have to agree with you. What is playing out in your party uh, speaks volume, isn't it? <laughs> Sometimes, you know, these whole exercises are very laughable. But I think President Goodluck, Billy Jonathan, is trying his best to see how he can settle this whole crisis. But I tell you the gospel truth. When you look at the truth and you are not prepared to face the truth, you will not be able to solve this problem. I think the best option is for the Supreme Court to interpret the provisions of our Constitution. Because there is no court that actually stopped our convention. So when somebody tells me that the convention was illegal, I ask myself, where is this illegality coming from? The convention was held clearly by the powers as, uh, 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 enshrined in NEC. And NEC took that decision of making sure that we have a convention. One single individual cannot stop a convention. I'm a member of NEC. There are 1,001 people that were in the convention. The, con uh, the, the neck is made up of over 100 and something people. All right. So how can one, one individual... Before, because before I allow you go, Honorable Olga, uh, Minority Leader, before I allow you go, your party has said it will bring a viral position in Nigeria's politics. Are you sad that two years down the line now, your party is still scratching the surface, not able to even fight its own feet, 
not to talk of being a viral opposition in Nigeria's politics. I, I am... I am pained. I am very, very pained, and I, and I state with all emphasis that because also we live in a country where people will not accept the truth, we as a party made a mistake in bringing Sheriff into our system. But unfortunately, Sheriff was to serve a tenure. And what I see clearly here is the hands of ESO trying to destroy this party. But let me caution before I leave that democracy thrives only where there is viral opposition in a scenario or a situation where you have a constitutional democracy without a viral opposition what you will have is a one-state party all right. that will lead all right. to some level of we need to go now thank you so much we must leave it at that because there's no time honorable yoga we will get to get together face to face and we'll battle these out um, and test uh, my uh, experience and knowledge of the law at some point uh, with you. Many thanks. That's our show for tonight. Many thanks for being part of it. On behalf of the team, I'm Sean Wakimale. Bye for now.